We are Nanan 16 and our team comprises of Yu and Ian. We are from Singapore and are participating in RCAP Cool Space Autonomous Driving Challenge U12. We won the Cool Space Autonomous Driving Challenge U12 Singapore Open. Our mission was to complete the course in the fastest time possible. We learned that coding requires patience and teamwork. I will explain the problems you faced and the methods you used later. The mission of this challenge was to pass all the waypoints and finish the map in the fastest time possible. In order to do this, the robot needs to line track, pass all the waypoints, and reach the end. The overall mission will be solved with all if the above mini tasks are completed. The goal of this challenge was to finish the map in the fastest time possible. So we knew we needed to use the blue path instead of the red path, as the blue path is much shorter. Since there is a color sort of circle in back in front of the junction, we can use our color sensors to program the robot to turn when it senses that color. However, we still need the robot to turn back after it passes the checkpoint and circle in red. So we used our color sensors again to make it so that when it senses yellow, the color of the checkpoint, it would immediately turn back. This is what the end product looks like. The AI algorithm consists of sensors, rule speed, state, duration, time, and LED. The ultrasonic sensor detects any objects in front that are close to the robot. The line follower sensor detects the color of the line. The color sensor detects the color of the path the robot is on. The time tells the robot when to execute the task. The duration tells the robot how long it should execute the task for. The view speed tells the robot how fast to go. And the LED is not needed in this competition. Since the lines on the map were black, the line flowing sensor should detect black instead of white. When the line flowing sensor detects black on the, L1, on the L1 and R1 sensors, it moves straight. When the line flowing sensor detects black on the L2 or R2 sensors, it turns gradually. When the line flowing sensors turn black on the detector black on the L3 or R3 sensors, it turns sharply. <coughs> These codes circled in red are used for junctions that are circled in blue. The path we took is drawn out in red. These codes circled in red are used for the straight stretch in this part of the map. It increases the speed of the robot and thus allows the robot to finish the map, the map faster. These codes circled in red allow the robot to line track. At first, the robot did not turn in certain junctions. So we knew that the possible cause was setting the wrong time. We decreased the time of which the robot will execute the task and thus the robot managed to turn at all the junctions. This is our game video. We learn that coding requires time and determination, and we should not give up easily when coding. If we were asked to solve the same challenge again, we would spend more time to perfect the turns, hopefully making the robot faster. We learn that teamwork is very important and that we should set targets realistically. The most important point that I wish to share with other players is that we should cooperate with our teammates. Thank you.